Okay, honey. Are you in here? Yes. Okay. So here we are. We are on Ilma, Hello. which is the newest it's boat. It's called the yacht. Yes. <laughs> and we were on Uberma. The first one ever. The first one. The Not only the first one, but the first voyage that they ever did. Yes. So we're here to see how this new boat compares to the original boat. I like this one more. It's bigger. Yeah, it's, it's bigger. Uh, the destinations are so much better. We went to Malta yesterday. It was amazing. I had no idea a Malta was so cool. Malta and was great. Yeah. They also they had a bus that took us to Turamina in Sicily, which is a very, very cute little town. It was very crowded, but very beautiful, very interesting. Um, part of Sicily, a lot of the culture, a lot of cute little stores. Very like it. Yeah, so far it's been a really good experience. Uh, one thing that we have maybe not liked on this boat is... Um, I think what we didn't like that much is the food situation because we, vegetarian, trying to be vegan, more health oriented and there aren't that many options. Also, they force you to make reservations if you want to go anywhere other than this little restaurant thing that's not even open all day. So we eat lunch as our main meal and it starts at 30, which I think is just a little late, you know, to go from yeah. waking up to eating at 1.30. And also, we want to go out in the mornings and enjoy the sights while it's still cool. It's really hot currently in Europe still. Yeah. And also, <coughs> being um, directors on an animal sanctuary, for an animal sanctuary, as many of you know, it was hard seeing on the menu. First we see the lamb, I which see, is kind of expected because we're going towards Greece, but also, and then yeah. the next item was uh, milk-fed milk milk fed veal. I was so upset. It really upset. So we, we've we bottle raised both lambs and the calves that have come off a dairy farm. And I just feel like, why can't we, as a species, have more compassion, have more, more love for our fellow inhabitants of this planet, care more? You know, why do we slap up wars? Why do we have to kill baby animals, grab it, pull it away from its mommy? I'm a mother, I had a child, I breastfed her. If somebody did that to me, took my little, little kid away from me and killed it, so some person can have a meal for like once, they're not even going to remember, it's wrong. There's something deeply, deeply evil about that. And I feel like 90% of people are animal lovers, 90% of people want to disturb, to be more loving, more compassionate. But this is disconnect. There's an utter disconnect between how easy it is to show compassion on a daily basis just by what you put on your plate, what you choose to eat, what you choose to buy at the grocery store, what you order off the menu. And I feel like the more we become aware of this, the more beautiful and happy and healthy the planet and the world and people will become. It's just by showing a little bit of compassion. It's not a big freaking deal. Don't eat the veal. Don't take the baby yeah. from its mom. It's so not it, going to kill anybody. It's not going to make it. It's not going to be a life-changing experience for anyone, but for those animals, it absolutely is. Yeah. So it was a bit depressing <coughs> for us to see the. Uh, they described it as milk-fed veal on I the menu. Like on the we have two. We have two baby calves at home. Yeah. They were more yeah. Than but they do say that they base the menu off of the locations where they're at. So I don't know. if milk fed veal is I don't think that's part of this area. We wouldn't Sicily we never but, saw um, that on the menu anywhere. So No, I think but they just think they fancy that's not fancy. But anyway, so that was it's a little cool. bit that was that's a little depressing. It's, it's just but, o- but overall the uh, the service has been great. The staff is great. 
Um, they're very accommodating. They treat you like you're very special. Very nice, yeah. And, yeah, and the they, presentation of the food is beautiful. Yep. I think the quality is good. Uh, overall, we're having a really good time. Yeah. Overall, it's been a really good trip. Today is our day out at sea, so you can see behind us we are <laughs> out at sea. Um, but also, it was kind of interesting because Anita kept looking at these... Uh, they have these little monitors up that basically tell you the rules and regulations yeah. <laughs> and they keep saying what the, the, the what the attire the is code. what the dress code is and it's really funny because like, as we mentioned we were on the very first Ritz Carlton yacht the very first cruise that they ever did and they sent us this email basically saying that during the day you should dress yacht casual yeah, casual, yeah. <laughs> and in the evening you should dress Yacht sophisticated, yeah. and we're like, what is that? We googled it. Man. We googled we, it. We, we looked it up. There was there was really nothing. So <laughs> we actually defined what it is. And when we were on that first cruise, everybody was like, oh my god, you're the best dressed couple. <laughs> we had the yacht casual. Yeah. We had the yacht sophisticated. The we were like, we had we had for pictures. two or three outfits for each day. Yeah. <laughs> to fit that definition that they were looking for. And now on this one, it's funny because she's reading the rules and she's like, I don't know, I might have to go back to the room and I change. Mean, she's I like, is, is this is this yacht? I think, I think uh, yeah, it, it's a beautiful <laughs> bathing suit. <laughs> she's like, is, it, is this yacht sophisticated enough? I don't know. So it's kind of funny because I feel like I feel like we defined we, um, it. we defined it and now and now she's like, maybe we're a bit too strict. Maybe we could have been a bit more yeah. casual with that. But. <laughs> Anyways, it's been, yeah, so far we're about halfway through this cruise, and uh, so far so good. Yeah. We've really enjoyed the destinations, we've enjoyed... Malta, people. They've done a much Malta. better job Beautiful. at making it easier very, to very access the areas that you're going to in the past, or at least in the first one. It was very difficult, they just kind of drop you off, and you're just mm. off on your own, but now they have... Yes ferries and shuttle buses and things they, that they are um, yeah that are included that you they'll take important. you to like the city center or wherever yeah, you well, need to go if you're gonna come this far you need to see something right you, yeah otherwise you just like cruise so, Miami you that's definitely better home, so. on the first one we were a bit disappointed with the um, excursions and they just weren't really worth they what they were charging for them me, like, but um you. but no they've they've definitely made an effort they're doing better this time Staff is really very friendly, enthusiastic. People actually remember us from the yeah, they do, which is nice. yeah, that yeah. was cool. Um, but yeah, so overall, it's been, it's been a good experience. Um, we're enjoying it, mm -hmm. and as we continue, we'll give you more updates and let you know how it goes. But definitely, uh, Ilma is a bigger boat. The rooms are bigger; they're more spacious. It doesn't feel crowded though, but they definitely well, they're not, not at full capacity, capacity We've so gotten different opinions about how many people are on the boat. I think we're a little over it's half. Somewhere between 50 and 70 the same. But yeah, but yeah, it's, it's not yeah. too crowded. It's yeah, like definitely not at full capacity. So, um, I don't know. If it was at capacity, the restaurants might be more crowded. But it's been good. The staff has been great. Um, we're yeah. enjoying it. So, definitely so far, I think they have to thumbs up. Just take the uh, milk-fed veal off the menu. And no lamb, please. And the no lambs. Lamb. We love our lambs. Our lambs are so freaking they, cute. Come on. They know different from It's like they're, they're little they're babies. They're you don't need to eat them. Sweet and awesome. You don't need to. Any meat? Secret to our yeah. beauty and our youthful appearance? We don't eat meat. We're actually 95 years old. Put life, but we don't eat meat. Eat things that are full of life. Plants. Like yes. Fruit. Yes. Not decaying animals. Come on, they're better than that. But yes. We all are. You are too. We can all do better. Yes. Where in the world are Angel and Anita? They could be anywhere, helping animals in the wild with hearts ready to share.
thank you for watching this. And uh, this is this is only San Pellegrino, but Ching Ching. Ching Ching. <laughs>